Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Voxelcraft. I am your host, Renovate. And today, guys, we're going to be doing something. We're going to be doing it solo. Uh, I'm actually off work today, and Link is at work. And so I decided I was going to do something kind of fun, and it's kind of behind me. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, make sure you click the like button and the subscribe button and all that good stuff. And make sure you watch everybody that's on Voxel Squad. Sponsored by Sticky Pistons, and I know my Sticky Pistons are gone. Oh yeah, we made a monument out of it. I think. Oh yeah. So let me show you what we got going on. I made all these crafting tables behind me, and as you can see, I got all the recipes already set up for you. Make it go quick. Uh, let me show you what we're going to be doing. So Link has uh, expanded his tree farm area up here. I'm not going to show you everything. I just want to show you like up over the hill. See what I can do. But he made another section over there. He's actually on. But he's at work so he can't talk to us. <laughs> but anyways. Um, so yeah. Make sure you watch his video. He's got some cool automation stuff going on over there. Uh, meanwhile I've just been building. Not too much. Uh, I flattened all this out and we did some some little uh, landscaping work. You remember there used to be a big hole over here, so I'm trying to make it look kind of nice. Um, I built I built Link a little room down here, built him like a little staircase, a little railing, just to help him get down. And then this is the room I built Link. This is for his IC2. It's black because we wanted something that would contrast against all the IC2 blocks, which are white. And so this is what I came up with. It's a little dark right now, but once we get it lit up, it'll be not quite nice. It's got a little crown detail up there. Kind of cool. Chiseling bits. Love it. Uh, he's also got a room that's down here. I'm not going to show it to you because he's working on it. I don't want to do any reveals. But we're going to go upstairs. This is our man cave. Pretty cool. Um, I can't remember how much we've showed since last episode, but uh, the building is done. we got a nice little roof going on here. we got a toilet sitting here. And I got some, uh, what is this called? Refined storage, I think. Yeah, refined storage. I just started this last night. And I was going through it really fast. We still got stuff in here. You can see, see I still got a bunch of stuff in my inventory. I'm actually going to dump all this stuff over here. Um, but we had all of this because uh, we wanted to get some somewhere to put all our storage. Because we're just running. I got, you know, we got chest everywhere. We got chest here. We got chest downstairs. Got a chest back there. Uh, we got chests everywhere, and we just need something. And uh, we are going to be taking um, uh, applied energistics out of the pack soon, so that's not going to be an option. So refined storage is basically, in my opinion, and I've been away from modded, but it's basically uh, AE1. Uh, it's not as it's not as I don't want to say difficult, but it's not as confusing as AE2. It's kind of simplified, but to me it's the same. It's the same. So anyways, this is our deck. We got a nice little deck come out here. I got to finish that little roof part right there. Don't look at that. And yeah, we got a nice little deck going on here. And if we hop over the side, I actually made deck joists. So it's pretty accurate. Yep, looks pretty accurate. And then this is my little room right here. It says under construction. Under construction. Looks like Link made these. I told him that they had some... Uh, some caution tape blocks. So this is what this is what this is from um, mine colonies. You can actually make little colonies of people. But uh, let me show you what's in here. A little sneaky room. You actually have to sneak to get in here because I chiseled this right. And your head has to fit in that little slot right there. So you're gonna come in here. This is gonna be our walls, and then we're gonna have you know like a little dungeon area down here. It'll be my little dungeon area. But this is what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be making a mob farm. And one of the mobs that I want to I want to farm is Endermen because we need a bunch of Ender Pearls. So let's go back over here. Um, yeah, there's our Sticky Pistons, an homage to Sticky Pistons, who's our sponsor. So let's go through here. What's really funny is I usually don't use the door. I just run through here. I didn't put any glass in this. I just chiseled it and made an opening, so I should probably put glass in there just for fun. So let's go uh, over to our tables, and I'll show you what I got set up so far. Um, I, I was looking at two different mods, one being RF Tools, 
and one being I think it's called uh, mob grinding utilities I'm pretty sure that's what it's called let's go over here and look uh, it's called at mob yeah it's right here this is a really cool mod mob grinding utilities uh, it has a fan that blows mobs it's got a like a grinding machine that grinds the mobs you can do some spikes it's got an absorption hopper absorption hopper um, and we're going to make one of those so that we can get all the XP in the items. It's also got a singularity tank which holds 32 buckets of XP. You can make an XP drain. And then you got all these cool little upgrades. And we'll probably do this in the next episode. Uh, I want to actually just get the whole thing set up today. But yeah, you got fans, uh, you got a width modifier, height, height modifier, a distance modifier, and then you got some absorption and, and then you got some stuff here. So what are we going to be doing? In my bag, we have an Enderman spawner right here, and it's in a diamond uh, chest transporter from chest, chest transporter mod. And so, yeah, let me um, let's see here. Ingots. Do we have a place to put this in there? Yeah, we do. And let's go over here into Ender IO and drop this off, and go into my chest, and let's drop some of this other stuff off that we don't really need. It's just crap, just like that, and like that, and like that. And that looks good. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to need, uh, as you know, I don't remember if it was um, if it was 1.8 or 1.10, uh, the Enderman warp. Um, they just uh, when you when you go to attack them, they can teleport. And they can also teleport you. Um, but we don't want them to be jumping around while they're getting killed. So there's a couple options that you can use. I think Ender IO has an obelisk that attracts them, and it's got a pretty big radius. And then um, I think there's something called a vector plate or something. I can't remember. Link was telling me about it. And then I remembered that RF Tools has got a machine called the Environmental Controller, and this controls the environment around you with various modules. Okay, so if we go into RF Tools, RF Tools, and we look over here, right here is the controller, and the controller has all these things you can put in. You got regeneration, you got speed modules, you got haste modules, saturation modules, which might be interesting, uh, feather falling modules, all kinds of cool stuff. You can fly, and all kinds of stuff. Peaceful mode, water breathing, but the one that we want to look at is right down here. No teleportation. This module prevents Intermin from teleporting when used in the environmental controller. It uses two one thousandth RF per tick per cubic block. So I think the Enderman's teleporting is, I think it's like 16 block radius or something. So I don't know what that's going to equate to. I really don't care. But let's go ahead and make it. All right. So we got that. So the next thing we're going to need is this. So this is this right here, right? And But if you look, my recipe is a little bit different. Why? My syringe is empty. And the syringe has to be full of Endermen. So we're going to do that in a little bit. All right. So let's go ahead and just grab, grab that and we'll keep it with us. This right here was some diamond spikes. I don't know if we're going to make these or not. This is going to be our fallback. All right. So we're going to keep that in that little thing there. This right here is our power cell. A uh, way to get power to the, the areas through these power cells. There's different ones. And if we run down stairs real quick. What's this? Oh, it's a thermonic fabricator. Link's getting ready to start on IC2. Um, but this is what the power cell looks like. This is from RF Tools. It's got an internal buffer of about 3 million. And then it has these power cell cards. And so that's what we're going to be using. Let me get a drink real quick, guys. <clears throat> all right the, the throat feels better now okay so yeah that's going to be our fallback is the iron spikes and so we need this power cell so we can power everything and the next thing we're going to need is this it's called a power cell card the card this card connects the power cells to each other okay so we're going to make one of those we only need one this right here is the mob fan. So if we go back to mob grinding utilities, that is this, the mob fan. M pushes mobs in the facing direction can be modified with mob fan upgrades. Now I 
think this thing doesn't need power. I'm not sure. We're going to go ahead and make it, right? All right, so we made that. The next thing we're going to need is the mob masher. So that is this thing right here. This is the recipe. Diamonds, some iron spikes. This is how you make the iron spikes. Pretty simple. The cool thing about this mod is uh, everything is kind of vanilla. And what I mean by is the materials that you need aren't uh, mod other mod based. So you don't need to go and craft a bunch of other stuff to make this. It's all vanilla stuff. So you got like nether bricks and redstone and iron. So there's nothing out of the ordinary to make this. It's a really cool mod. So you got iron, iron, diamonds, iron, iron. So lots of iron. So let's go ahead and make that. Got that. All right, cool. The next piece, this is the absorption hopper. And just like I said before, it's all vanilla. So you got Ender IO, or Ender IO, Eye of Ender, some obsidian, and a Minecraft of vanilla hopper. So we're going to grab that. The next thing we're going to be making is the Singularity Tank. Singularity Tank is just some glass. It can be chiseled glass, regular glass, whatever, and some iron. We're going to grab that. I'm actually going to grab that iron. Cool. And then the last thing we're going to make is nothing. So what we need to do now is go somewhere where it's dark. And I know a perfect place. Way over here. We're going to run over here. Oh, that was my phone. Oh, man. So, yeah, guys. I haven't recorded in about a week. It's been uh, about a week since we recorded last. And uh, we've been just, I just... Th this time back and playing modded Minecraft, I'm trying not to rush through anything. I don't like rushing. Um, I think that's what the problem was the last time I played modded. It was just rush to get things done. Rush to get uh, episode recorded. And it just got to the point where it was too much to handle. And uh, it got uh, really bad. Uh, so we're not doing it this, like that this time. We're just going to play when we got time to play. And we're going to play while we enjoy it. And so I'm going to set this down. And we're going to grab our syringe. We need to poke a couple of these guys. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to pick it back up. And then I'm going to try to poke some of these guys. Poke. Poke, poke, poke. Poke, poke, poke. And there, we got it filled up. Okay, hopefully we can get out of here without dying. And we're going <laughs> to... Come on, man, die. All right, so we killed that one. And I'm going to put this back in our backpack. And put that in there. And I'm going to eat real quick. There we go. And I'm going to leave these guys down here because I don't want to mess with them. And they are happy where they are. So we got our syringe. And now we're going to go back and finish up <laughs> that uh, that little piece that goes in here. Why are we not running really fast? There we go. And this will allow us to make the card that we need that prevents uh, Enderman from jumping around and teleporting and just being a pain in the butt. So let's get up here. Oh, I just blocked myself in. There we go. So yeah, I leveled this all out. Uh, underneath here is just all hollow. And that's why I made my little my little secret dungeon cave down there. We'll eventually have this road go out and uh, I'm imagining that this building is going to get a lot bigger. It might not be. I don't know. We'll see. I made this little path. I've just been enjoying chiseling bits. I didn't get to play with it last time when it came out. Oh, yeah, Link made this. Watch this. Ding. That's annoying. So, yeah, let's go down here. All right, so let's do this. If we put this syringe in here, that's going to give us this no teleportion, no, no teleporting mod. Or not mod, or module. So that's that. Okay, so we need to run over here. The first thing we need to do is grab some cobblestone. Quite a bit of it. Let's grab enough. Is that enough? Yeah. And our, Do we have a regular chisel? Eh, I don't see it. Is it in my bag? Yes, it is. That, let's put that away. Okay. Because we need to build the room first. And you know what else we're going to need? Probably going to need some power cables. That would probably be useful. So, Ender I.O. Uh, I don't know how many we're going to need, but that's probably going to be enough. And probably going to need a bunch of those. And probably, probably going to need a chest. 
Uh, we'll think about it. We'll see if we need a chest or not. I know, man, that, that bobbing is annoying. So we're going to go over here. The first thing we're going to do before we go over there is grab some soup. Because I ran out of soup. Let's grab uh, a handful of soup. Okay. How much do we have left? 700? All right, cool. So yeah, Link's uh, doing some uh, some magical agricultural... I guess it's uh, a lot to say magical. Or it's not magical, it's mystical. I was thinking of the magical crops. It's mystical agriculture. Mod. So make sure you go watch his videos and see what he's got going on. So we're going to go in here. And this is my little area. So this is underneath all that flat spot. So we're just going to make this go in here and have some fun. This is where our spawner is going to be. Um, a typical spawn room, I think, is like 7x7. Seven seven, so I got it, uh, you know, here's 1, 2, 3, and then this will be the finished wall, and then 1, 2, 3, and that will be the finished wall. So that's what we're going to do there. I'm not quite sure how this all works, though. So we're going to do this together. So I'm going to actually grab my pickaxe it's already here all right and i tell you what i'm going to build this room real quick and then uh, we'll come back and finish or not finish but set it all up and make sure it works so I'll be right back all right so what i want to do i don't want to sleep real quick is what i want to do real quick uh what i want to do is i want to set this fan down and i want to test if it works off of just uh, a redstone signal, because I don't really know. So let's put this down. And you can see it's got three upgrades. So we can put uh, the height, width, and the distance on it. And I don't think, um, I don't have, let's see, I, can, I think there's some wood in this chest over here. Let's grab, uh, is there really no wood in here? Oh, there's, oh is that rubber wood? No, oh, that's not going to work. Crap. Uh, yeah, there is no wood in here. Uh, okay, well, uh, let's see here. I guess we can cheat and grab a tree. Let's grab a tree. Is there any in my, in, in my, in my bag? Let's see if there's some in there. Uh, I'm always missing sticks. That's amazing. All right, so let's just chop down one of my trees. I didn't really want to do that because I had a specific spot for that tree. There we go. Right there. Okay, so now we got some wood. So let's do that. And that, and then this. All right. So if I put a lever on this, boop, and I turn it on. Okay. So it does work. So it doesn't need any power. So it blows this way. But if I'm standing here, it doesn't blow anything. See. So how many blocks is that? So do we have a torch? No, we don't have a torch. Uh, let's just use. Let's use this brick. So I am, I can't get any closer than that brick right there. So that is here. So how many blocks is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I put this in the back of the wall, it's going to blow us to here. So seven blocks basically, right? And we are, if we go in here, so if I set it here on the ground, actually back here, it's going to blow us one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's going to stop here. So we need to increase the length of it. And we also need to increase the width of it. All right. So let's do that. So let's look in here. So we need to increase the width. So each one is one. So, uh, so we need to go, this would be one, two, and three. So we need to do um, we need to do three of these, and then we don't. I guess we could do the height. I don't think we need to do the height, uh, and then the distance. We're going to need to do a two because we need to get eight spots. So let's go back to our base, and we will create that. I need to find a way to uh, get there a little bit quicker than this route, but this will work. You know what they need to do is on those toilets from DecoCraft, they need to put, excuse me, they need to put uh, like sounds when you flush it. All right, so let's uh, let's see what we need to do to make these um, these upgrades. So we need the modifier. We need to make three of these. So we need feathers. Well, that might be a problem because I don't think we have any freaking feathers. 
Uh, mob drops. I don't think we have any feathers. Nope. Um, hmm. That might be an issue. <laughs> is there a way to create feathers? I don't think there is. Is there a way to make feathers? Uh, feather seeds, that's not going to help us. Uh, scrap box, that's not going to help us. I know chickens give it. Oh my gosh. So we need feathers. We're going to need uh, three. We're going to need nine feathers there. And then we're also going to need... Oh, Jesus. Okay, so we're going to need a bunch of feathers. Okay. Um, i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a. I'm going to make a golden lasso. I'm going to go get some chickens. I'm going to put them on top of a, a hopper. And we're going to start collecting some stuff. Well, let me get that. And then when uh, I get all that stuff, uh, when I find enough, we'll come back and we'll finish this up. So I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I am such a freaking idiot. Uh, I So I set my key bindings up to a new key. Or my recording to a new key. And I just recorded like, I don't know, 20 minutes of video. And I just happened to go back in because I noticed that every time I was looking over at my other screen, it said I was that I was recording and I didn't know that I was. Not only that, before I started recording today, I was setting up for Twitch. And uh, I had the mic on the scene set to mute. So everything that I recorded has been in mute. So this is all done. You guys didn't get to see any of it made. So I'm going to walk you through it now since I've completely re been a retard. Um, and I'll show you what I've done. All right. So, man, that sucks. Okay. Let's backtrack. So... Uh, in last episode, or in the last segment, we were playing around with our fan, okay? So we made our fan, and but we needed the upgrades. And I went ahead and made the upgrades. Now the upgrades to the fan were... Let's go over here and look. They're inside the fan. I made upgrades that are the width modifier, which is a plus one. So what that means is the plus one is if you go from the, the fan itself... This is plus one, this is plus two, plus three in all directions. So since this room is not quite square, I went and did the three because that's our that's our longest dimension, okay? The other one is the height modifier. So same thing, two down, two up. So we got that covered. And our distance modifier is how far from the fan um, will it blow. Now if you remember when we did our test, it was six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It needs to blow them into this, so I did seven, okay? Actually, I did eight, uh, but that's okay. There's a there's a window here. Um, so, yeah, so that's our fan. We got the upgrades into it, all right? And let's go. Man, I feel like a, such an idiot. Um, let's do this. The good thing is I screwed up royally on this. Uh, and so it's not gonna you're not gonna see all my screw ups, which is great. It's the best editing ever. Okay. So we have all these. Now what I did uh when I was recording, thinking I was recording, is I only had one diamond uh mob masher set up. One and I didn't know what the radius was. I figured that the radius of this thing was something like, you know, six by six or something. It's not. It's just right in front of it. Okay. So I went ahead and made more. So it covers the whole entire room. In order to turn these on and to make it look kind of legit, um, I went ahead and used redstone conduits. And I'm sure you've seen these before. But I did all these on redstone conduits. They're set to green for mobs. The fan is set to green. They all come, this one comes underneath here. And I did a little Yeti wrench. And then you can see they come up behind here. So, And then if you look, this is set to red and that one's green. Well, the red signal is the lamps on the top so I had to make we don't have any lamps or anything I think we have floodlights from immersive engineering but I just went and made these because these are cheap and that's on the red signal so in order for the mobs to spawn in there the endermans they need to be in complete darkness so that's why I have those so as long as those lights are on they're not gonna spawn so that's the grinders the fan and a little switcheroo Underneath it is our absorption hopper. So let's, I don't want to click on that. So the absorption hopper picks up a, a pretty wide area. Now I don't know exact radius of it, but from what I can gather, it feels like it's about seven by seven. And the way that I know that is if I stand here and I th watch what happens to the block. Whoop, disappeared. Whoop, 
disappear. Whoop, disappear. Even if I throw it here, whoop, disappear. So I think it's a 7x7. Seven seven. Uh, it's a pretty big radius, and you don't have to put any upgrades into this. Uh, it has its own little buffer, and this is for the, um, the XP. And what this is here, uh, instead of having like a little GUI where you can spin it, kind of like the uh, old item hopper or whatever it was from Extra Utilities, I think it was Extra Utilities or Indra Utilities, I forget. Um, but you tell it which way you want to, which way you want the interfaces. And this interface here, it looks like it's going in that block, but it's not. If I get my wrench back out, you can see I got a fluid duct coming into here. And that fluid duct, if I look this way, if you look on my, my map up at the top, I'm facing south, okay? So we want the south to be fluid, okay? And then the back is this one, so we're facing west. So the west would be the items, and the items will pump into this ender conduit. It goes over here into our ender chest. Now this ender chest is the one that we had back in our building, and this is set to dump into our... Uh, refined storage, which I'm going to have to show you that too because that's how I started off this segment and um, that's going to be fun too. So that's going into our refined storage, which is basically an ME system or an AE2 system, whichever you want to call it, but it's called refined store storage. storage. Just don't worry about it. It's the same mod, honestly. Um, so you do that and then this uh, singularity tank we made in the last segment was, uh, it holds 32 buckets or something like that. I'm not going to keep it here but I'm I'm I just wanted to put it so we could see it, right? All right. So none of this uses power. None of this mod uses power. But the problem that you're going to have if you're doing Enderman, now if you do some any other mods or any other mods, if you do any other mobs, you won't have this issue. But with Enderman, they warp. Not only do they warp, they warp you to them. And so I made this environmental controller. Okay, this environmental controller. Uh, you can set stuff on it. So the radius of this thing, and I don't know if there's a way that I can see what the actual radius is, um, but the radius is, and you can see it right there, area, radius of 32, so 32 blocks in every direction between level 65 and 80. We're at 69, so it goes down to below that one, and then it goes up to 80, but we're on Y level 69, so that's fine. So if we're at 7, it goes up 10 blocks, goes down a couple blocks. I'm pretty sure that's what you needed to set it to. But you needed to make this no teleportation module, which we made, and this prevents them from teleporting. Hopefully it does. Let's just say that. So, whew, now that I got all that set, and I can honestly see that I am recording my voice on my other screen, I can see the little, little mic thing going up and down. So let's replace the blocks that we broke, and we're going to test this. All right, so we did that. And then I made some ender conduit facades, and they are right here. And I want to put those like right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. Pop that off. Boop. Oh, crap. I didn't want to do that either. I didn't know you could do that with that yada wrench. Well, that's kind of cool. All right. So we just want to break that off. Let's break that. It's going to go into the item hopper. And then we're going to click down here, and then we're going to grab that back out. Put that in there. And we're just going to plop it on here. Boom, boom, and boom. All right. So the other thing that I did is I made these upgrades for this. And some of these have them in it, and some of them don't. That one has it in it, and that one has it in it. And let's try the middle one. It does not. I'm going to make a bunch more of these because I want the heads. That's basically all I'm worried about is the heads. All right. So, and then the other thing that I made... Uh, was this dark glass, and if you just go to Ender Utility, or Ender, is this Ender Utility or Ender I.O.? It's Ender I.O. Uh, dark glass, where is dark glass on here? Is it on the next page? Could be on the next page. I'm not seeing it. Trust me, it's on here. Uh, but it's just dark glass. If I just type in dark glass, let's just type in glass. I'll show you the recipe. It's pretty simple. It's just, uh, oh, redstone, or not redstone, but, um, um, silicone and let's see here uh, sand and a dye or ink sack will give you clear glass now it says there that it blocks light it's not painted so if you wanted to paint it a certain color you can I just left it clear but it does not emit any light which is good so we're gonna do that alright so 
with all that being said, and all that fun jive, let's flip off the lights, turn on this. Oh, man, that's excellent. But you know what I forgot to do? <laughs> I forgot to turn on. <laughs> uh, I love myself. All right. I forgot to turn this on. So this is always active. So why is it not extracting it then if it's always active? Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe you just need a buffer. Maybe the Ender IO thing doesn't uh, work with it. And let's go over here. And I'm sure we have chests already made. Yeah, we do. So let's do that. All right, so let's do this. Um, since I'm up here, I don't want to do this after the video. So this is our refined storage. If you guys want to see how this is set up, I didn't set this up in 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 this in this episode. If you guys want to see what how this works, just leave me a comment and I'll show you. But it's pretty simple. If you guys are familiar with Ender, if you guys are familiar with the AE2 system, especially AE1 back in the day, this is pretty much the same thing. You got your crafting grid looks the same. You got your disk drives. Um, you got your controller. You got your uh, pattern processing and then you got your processing patterns this one's for crafting recipes this one is for processing recipes and that's the ender chest that's an import bus it's going into the system you guys know how that works if you don't just let me know and i'll show you next episode and so let's go back in here and then let's dig up that block and let's um let's actually plop this off here and let's put a chest here did they all go in there they did okay so that works all right so we need to put um one of these i wonder why that didn't work that's weird okay that's not gonna work let's do it like this boop and let's do extract, always active. And if I drop something in here, does it go into the system? Why are you not pulling it out? This is weird. Why is it not pulling it out? Is this one set to not? This one's, a, this one's set to extract. Such a goofball, I swear to God. All right. Uh, I, I hope you guys enjoy my epicness. Extract, insert. It's so stupid. I didn't even need that chest there, but you know what? It doesn't matter. We already have it set up. It looks nice. I know it works. So let's put the blocks back. And let's put that in there and that in there. And that took that. And that took... That. Okay. It does work told you it would. See, we knew it would the whole time. And we're actually missing some blocks, aren't we? Huh. Huh. Alright, well, we'll just chisel some. Alright, so now let's just, uh, let's turn this on. Turn that on, turn that on. Alright. So I just want to watch I wonder how often they spawn. Hmm. Interesting. It looks like they're trying... Oh, that was my phone. There we go. Okay, watch the chest. Okay, I did see it go in there. So we are getting into pearls. So it must just be uh, some randomness. The other thing it might be because is I have a torch out here, but I don't. I thought they said that the torches don't affect the spawners, but we'll have to check on that. So yeah, yeah, that's a thing. I don't think I showed anything at the beginning of the video that you guys didn't already see. I apologize for this epic goofness, uh, but I'm getting back into the the swing of things, um, and I'm I'm trying to get set up so that we have a little bit more time to do some live streaming. Because we're going to be getting into a couple more episodes soon, and I don't want to mention which ones. Uh, are we getting XP, though? We are getting XP. Can I just take that XP out of there like this? 
No, it needs a drain. Okay. There is a drain for this mod too, so we'll have to do that. All right, I wonder if I can just take a, a glass jar and, and click on it. That's probably what we'll have to do. All right, guys. Woohoo! That's been fun. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new. If you're new to Minecraft or if you're new to modded or whatever, hit that subscribe button. I'll teach you some things. Stick around with me, kid. And uh, make sure you check everybody else out on the Voxel Squad. Their uh, link, not not individual, but the entire group's link is in the description below. And also, thank you to the Sticky Pistons, our sponsor for this mod pack. Check out their website. And good web hosting. Good Minecraft web hosting. So, I'll see you next time, guys. This has been fun. A little derpiness, but it works. That's all that matters. See ya.